Hello, hello! I hope you're doing well today, and welcome to <laughs> a new episode of my Persona 4 Golden Let's Play. Uh, so yeah, really excited to, to play more of this game. It's, this is an amazing game. Um, anyway, yeah, we just got to Inaba, our new home for this uh, next year, next school year. Uh, we already met uh, new faces, so we started, we're starting to make new friends. And yes, we are now at Dojima's house, and we are ready to go to bed. So yeah, let's uh, let's just continue straight on. Music is great, and yeah, I <laughs> well, I just shut up for a bit, and then I'll. Uh... Someone. Okay, yes, the music was very very loud. It's really loud. I don't know if it's it's something. Uh, it's because of the game, like by default. Uh, so yeah, in last episode it was very loud, and uh, my voice didn't, you know. Um, <laughs> you saved me. Didn't really come through. Thanks. Um. But yeah, the game is pretty loud, especially in playing with headphones. Uh, so yeah, I. I tried to, you know, balance the audio a little bit, so now it should be better. Uh, I tried the recording, and it should, you should <laughs> be able to hear me uh, more clearly. But uh, just in case, maybe it's because of YouTube also or the rendering. It could be, um, but in any, any case, if you if you have trouble and uh, you want me to tweak the audio a little bit better, just let me know. Uh, maybe you want the to hear the music more or the voices. Um, anyway, yeah, the rolling student. Um, I mean, I know him, we know him, but uh, yeah, let's get introduced to our partner. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. And yeah, she. She? What? <laughs> Uh, he seems okay, he seems fine and the bike also, so yeah. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? They found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. Mm, yeah. Yeah, also I disabled the auto read, which is on by default, so I can just, you know, uh, stop when I, when I want, you know say something and also stop the recording at the you know the perfect moment or at least have more control um I think it was some kind of warning there's no way something that weird could have been an accident I mean yes we will find out of course that <laughs> it's not going to be just an accident dangling a dead body over a roof like that that's just messed up then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. Oh crap, we're late! You want a ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. Yeah, sure. Right, let's ride the Atlas bike. Uh, yeah, it's... I forgot about that uh, little touch, that little reference. Um, on Yosuke's bike, you know, you, see, you can see the Atlas uh, logo. It's the publisher, but uh, yeah, and he's fine. He's very, you know, very funny. You know, he's a kind of the class clown, um, like the the comedic party member, always joking around, always be, you know, be fooled. Um, but yeah, he's he's a good guy. He's like the Junpei of Persona 4, basically. And the Ryuji in Persona 5. Yeah, this guy's not. Uh, he's an ass. And also very, very ugly, very creepy looking. Yeah, also pretty, pretty foul language for a high school teacher. Um, Okay, knowledge increased. We can um, choose whether to follow the lectures 
or not uh, later. What if you want to rest? So, are you getting used to this place? At least I think so. You could do that in person. You could do that uh, in Persona 3 and 5. Um, but yeah, also here, it it made more sense in Persona 3 because of the fatigue system. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely getting used to this place because I you know I already know it. But uh, yeah, let's keep uh, in character. Wow, that was fast. There isn't much to do here compared to the big city, but there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else. The air is clean, the food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? Steak, right? I think. It's grilled steak, man. <laughs> yeah. Like that's anything special, huh? Yeah, it's pretty weird for a small rural Japanese town, but um, yeah, not every place uh, has a uh, local dish. I know a place where you can get it cheap. Want to come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. I mean, free food is always great. What about me, huh? No apologies? My trial of the dragon? <sighs> you always come around when I'm talking about food. <laughs> yeah. Also, she is a um, voice actress in Golden. Uh, is different from the original. And she's also in the spin-offs. And she's fine, I mean... Um, she has done a pretty good job, but I like the original Chie voice more. Um, the Japanese one is much better. I find Chie's, uh, you know, um, voice here, you know, official voice or more recent voice, a bit, a bit too high, too high pitched, too squeaky. Um, but yeah, I could also try maybe <laughs> playing in Japanese. Um, well, maybe, maybe for an episode or two. Also, if you want to, if you like more the Japanese voice acting, or you are, if you are curious, we can do that, of course. How about it, Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? I mean, when she says "sheesh," uh, it's just it grates against my ears. It's so, uh, but she's cool. I mean, she's she did a great job. I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the end today anyway. Yeah, okay, Yukiko. Never never mind. Party pooper. Wow, Yukiko san, you started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Well, I should be on my way. Okay, it's just the three of us. Oh well, we should get going too. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? Juness, the classic Juness theme. Amazing. This is the cheap place you were talking about? Ugh, they don't have grilled steak here. Yeah, they kind of have maybe... Um... Yeah, well... Once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plan. Yeah, exactly. Maybe ha they have like uh, small kebabs or, you know, those kind of, uh, uh, I don't know what they're called in English, but, you know, spiedini, you know. Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. Yeah, maybe he'll just treat us to curry and, uh, you know, Dude, this isn't basic my food. place or anything. Oh, right. I haven't told you yet, huh? I moved here from another city about six months back. This location just opened up and my dad was assigned to manage it. So our entire family came out here. Here, this is to welcome you to town. I mean, that's Sadanaka, nice. yours is on me too. Yeah, I know. Yeah, making friends, it's... Uh... It can be hard, especially maybe in a small town where you're completely new and, you know, pretty much everyone knows everyone. But yeah, Yosuke is uh, he's a cool guy, very kind, and of course, free food makes everyone friends. Also, we can see a little detail that I just... Um, I just realized uh, he's here, and the Bianca singer 
you know, um, that is involved with the recent scandal um, that he did with the guy, uh, with the counselor. Um, yeah, her picture is on the on that board in the background. That's cool. Um, and yeah, I think there should be more references uh, in the other shops as well. But uh, we will check them out very soon. It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. A lot of stores there started closing, and... Ooh, uh... You can't blame it all on Juness, can you? <sighs> hey, it's Saki-senpai. Sorry, be right back. <laughs> yeah, that's says if... Uh... She's Josuka's girlfriend. Yeah, he wish. <laughs> exactly. He wishes. Yeah, I, I remember this. That's Saki Kanishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. That's what she sounds very American. Like she has a very very thick uh, American accent, which you know. I think she's working here part time though. I mean, I like she. She's a, she's a great character. Um, very fun also, one of the best characters I think in the arena spin-offs, the fighting games. She's very strong, very, very fun. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. What's up, Hanachan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Ugh, madam, you wound me. Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. I... <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. Ugh. Why'd I leave school early yesterday? Hey, is he the kid who transferred here? Yeah, she's, yeah, she's, um, we will see why <laughs> she was bothered by yesterday's event. And she immediately goes for the, for the protagonist, of course. <laughs> Are you the transfer student? Oh, <laughs> did you hear about me already? It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Not necessarily. He doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. <laughs> okay, let's just, let's just uh, um, join on it as well make fun of him a little bit why not <laughs> yeah she likes that <laughs> all right break it up you're kind of getting on my nerves yeah, he's afraid we are going to steal his girl <laughs> well my break's just about over back to work i go laters oh uh, senpai <laughs> saki senpai says i'm annoying but she's even nosier than me she has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Oof. Oh, you don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? <laughs> I get it. So that's how it is. The daughter of a local family-run liquor store, and the scion of the invading chain. Oh, the flame of forbidden love. Dude, it's not like that. Oh, really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? You're supposed to look into a TV that's switched off, alone, exactly at midnight on a rainy night. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. And they say that person's your soulmate. What? For a second, I thought you were actually going to say something useful. How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? 
Of course I don't. Well, maybe you should, Yosuke. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. Yeah, I should also try this because it's it's uh, been raining for like a month almost. Um, almost every day here, so yeah. Like a few days ago it was very, very foggy. Uh, like the day after I recorded the, the first episode, the first two episodes. Uh, and yeah, it's... It's very much, it was very much a Persona 4 atmosphere. Um, but I should try it. Check the Midland channel as well. Try it out. Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? Wow. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. All that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> Jeez, you shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? All I'm saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. Yes, we will definitely try uh, back at uh, Lojima's house. Yeah, the rumor about him in the channel where one can see one's soulmate on a rainy night. Uh, yes, we will check it out. I think this is cool, this is very... Um, <sighs> like Persona 4 is, is a very unique game and... Um, again, one of, the, one of the best best things about this game. Besides uh, the characters and the soundtrack. Uh, it's just the the atmosphere and um, yeah the midnight channel and you know the well I can't spoil it but you know the the place where where we will go and you know do the dungeons it's it's very unique it's very original very very much uh, stylized uh, yeah very recognizable and uh, and cool yeah of course Dojima is out there's just been a murder so. Uh, the police will be, of course, very, very busy. Okay, let's just say, yeah, don't... Did your father call, actually? Let's ask. No. He always says he will. Oh! He's home! <sighs> what a day. Yeah, he's, he's burned out. He's just, he's just going to fall asleep immediately as soon as he sits on the couch. I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? He probably skipped dinner, maybe even lunch, I mean... No, you're late again. Very hard life. I'm sorry. I'm busy at work. Can you put the news on for me? Next, more details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. Yeah. And you know, the rumors say, say that uh, she was at the Amagi Inn before uh, dying so yeah we will see if that's true and maybe yukiko knows something maybe she saw something i mean we'll see the police plan to investigate this relationship and question any personnel involved with them in addition we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found miss yamano's body <sighs> an interview with a kid <gasps> Ugh, where the hell did they find her? What went through your mind when you saw it? Could you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? Uh, um. Yeah, I mean, if you look closely at the TV, you should be able to recognize uh, that student. Don't you think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? Huh? She was killed? Oh, uh... So, did you see anyone suspicious around here? No, not really. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? 
Uh huh? That's... A yeah, very, very nosy reporter. I, I hate the, those reporters. No, no, just nosy. Just mind your own business, man. Especially if you are asking questions to a... A minor, I mean... Yeah, she reminds us of uh, Saki. And yeah, she is Saki. She is the one who found the accidentally found the body. A tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. <laughs> if they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. <laughs> I mean, it takes. It would take to do that. It would take a very big effort, you know, to lift up the the dead body and arranging it and make make sure it doesn't fall off. I mean, I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. <sighs> Loads of prank calls, though. I mean, if you have to kill someone, just drop them in the river. It would be better. Uh, <laughs> I would. Um, drop the body into the Samegawa river and you know hopefully it wouldn't uh, get stuck and just reach the sea but so the cause of death is still unknown and they don't have a single suspect yet or burn it if you if you can but that's that's even even harder than hang hanging it from a, an antenna Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide. <sighs> we'll be right back after these messages. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your Juness. Every day is great. You're Juness. Hey, Dad, can we go to Juness together sometime? Yeah, he, he's he's gone. He's he's asleep already. I'm sorry, Nanako. Ask him no. tomorrow. <laughs> you Jesus, that was loud, Christ. Jeez. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's raining and it's silent, no music. So yeah, very, very quiet, very ASMR almost, very cozy. Yeah, let's. Um, we, can, we can't go out. And yeah, let's check the the rumor of the midnight channel.
<laughs> into the TV just are you okay being absorbed yes we, maybe okay make a little concussion but uh, well, it's fine good night yeah the big night channel is definitely real And the others will, of course, have checked it. It's this Chia. Sorry. <laughs> mm -hmm, okay, yeah. <sighs> of course, I mean, she's... She's a savage. Yeah, let's race. Huh? And why not? I don't mind uh, the rain. I mean, unless, unless it's really pouring, I, I mean, I don't mind not having an umbrella. There was a, a history teacher as well in Persona 3. Uh, I don't remember the name, but he was wearing a samurai helmet. Uh, now we have like a, an Egyptian history teacher, but yeah. Mm. Okay, easy question, let's see. It's our turn, maybe we can... let's see. Okay, the Western calendar is based on Anno Domini, yes, the traditionally believed uh, year of Jesus Christ's, Christ's birth. Okay, what is the year before 180 called? Uh, it should be 1 BC, right? Minus 1 doesn't make sense. There is no uh, 0, because that is, it doesn't make sense to have a 0 year. I mean, uh, so it should be 1 BC. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's 1 BC. Okay, yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's based on the Julian calendar um, made by Emperor uh, Julius Caesar. Um, but yeah, back then every emperor wanted to. <laughs> basically put their name on a um, on a month and to change the calendar that that's why we have the uh, July you know June July August because of Emperor August Augustus and uh, and so on okay, more knowledge nice yeah, and I'm really really excited to play this game I hope you you are as well and uh, I hope you like this game being hung upside down that's so freaky yeah I'm, I'm very very hyped it's been many years and i i've never played golden so there's a lot of new stuff that i've never seen so i'm i, I am really excited and uh, uh, in case you haven't played the game or you don't know it i highly recommend it uh, you know to to get it and play it for yourself uh, you can play it on pc of course uh, there's a steam version and you can play it on Pretty much every console. I think the Switch should have also a um, a version, so you can play it uh, on the go, and that's really cool. Anyway, is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. My senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. Yep, the third year. Uh, yeah. Saki Konishi. Y Yo! Um... It's a... 
it's not really that important, but... Yuku, what is Yukiko doing? She's like... <laughs> I don't know, scratching, petting her... Um, thing here um, i mean that sounds okay that sounds weird uh her um s sweet case her case you know school case i don't know what they're called in english but you know very traditional um made of leather usually well very old school. on tv i uh... they don't have backpacks in uh in japan at least some schools like this um Oh, uh, you never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? Saki Senpai's supposedly the one who discovered that body. I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today either. Huh? Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today too? Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. Okay, very busy. Yeah, it's uh, it's a very very rainy start of spring. We are in the middle of April, but yeah, um, business. You know, the the, um, the business season. You know, it's uh, summer, of course. Maybe winter if there are um, um, skiing stations. You know, uh, skiing courses in Ineba. Uh, I think they sh there should be, um, but yeah, especially you know the start of the spring and summer and. Is it just me or does Yukiko San seem Winter very very busy, um, times for tourists because of tourists. I guess they're running her ragged. By the way, did you see it last night? Huh? Uh, well, what about you? I did! I seriously saw a girl! But... my soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? I couldn't quite tell who it hmm. was, but it was a girl for sure. Yeah, maybe it's you. You like girls. You you still haven't realized, but you're a lesbian. I mean. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length. She was wearing our school uniform, and... Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Wait, so you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? D does that mean we have the same soulmate? How should I know? How about you? Did you see it? Yes. I mean, they're not it going to believe like we all saw the same person. that we were <laughs> absorbed by the TV, but... But weird voices aside... What was that about getting sucked into your TV? Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. That'd be one interesting dream, though. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. <laughs> That's pretty realistic. If it had been bigger... Oh, that reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. Oh, yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. <laughs> yeah, this line, you know, <laughs> I mean, fits the the year this game came out. So yeah, flat, sc flat screens are now the norm. Have been the norm for years. So yeah. Want to go check them out on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Oh, definitely. My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen! What the? We've got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> Let's see. The Juness uh, uh, Electronic Department. Yeah, exactly. It's expensive. Who buys something like this? Yeah, that's a pretty, pretty big TV. I don't know, rich folks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. Huh? Not worth trying then, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. 
Yeah. Also, is that it on the on the floor uh, on the protagonist's left? There's like a, a sign, a, a blue sign with a, a girl. I think that's Riza. That that looks like Riza. The sign that says Moo. <laughs> uh, yeah, I yeah she looks like Riza. Uh, maybe she did a commercial or an ad for this that TV. I think it's Riza, but you you can let me know if you know. Nope, can't get in. Figure. <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. Ah, what am I saying? So Chia, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? They said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? Yeah, I mean, cheap TVs. You're not, you're not good. You're not going to get a big one, cheer With I know, I don't know how. What's, what's your budget? But yeah, I'm sorry. <clears throat> well, Miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model, just released this spring. What? That's not cheap at all. There's way too many zeros. I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. You got connections, right? Come on, hook me up! You know I can't do that. Hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit, it's a little old, but... Hmm, yeah, let's try. Oh yeah, what kind of TV do you... Huh? Something wrong, Yosuke? Is his arm in the TV? Whoa. Uh, is that some kind of new model? L like with a, a new function? Hell no. <laughs> yeah, I really don't think TVs will ever do that. You gotta be kidding me. Did you really stick your hand through the screen? Maybe, you know, you know, in the year 3000 or, or something, we can have TVs with wormholes. <laughs> so you can just teleport from one TV to the other. And that would be sick. <laughs> oh man, this is for real. That's some magic trick, man. So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? <laughs> oh my god! What do you mean inside? Wh what do you mean empty space? Wh what do you mean spacious? Yeah, there's a, a, a whole another dimension. The TV word. I mean, what's going on? Old crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. Your pants. <laughs> I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. I can't hold it anymore. Shit, customers, they're coming. What? But we've got a guy half stuck in the TV here. What are we gonna do? Of course. <laughs> Ow! I landed right on my wallet. Man, where the heck are we? What is this place? Some place inside Juness? Hell no, it isn't. I mean, we fell through a TV. Actually, uh, what is going on here?
I mean, we are inside the TV, but um, yeah. Is this a dream? I mean, it doesn't look like a dream. Where are we? Yeah. Well, uh, we're inside the TV, I guess. Inside? Whoa. What now? Did you wet your pants? No, stupid. Look around. It's like a TV set, like a. Uh, Is this? Yeah, studio. The studio. All this fog. Or is it smoke? There's no place like this in Inaba, is there? Hell no. But man, this place is huge. What are we gonna do? Yeah, let's look around. I mean, why not? Huh? But. but Make sure this place is not actually. Look, we real. need to get home and. Huh? Wait a minute. Wait, which way did we come in from? Up, <laughs> I think. Uh, I don't see a way in. We just fall. Or out. Fell into the this foggy, foggy place. What? That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know. Don't ask me. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. Okay. So how? <laughs> We're doomed. Now let's be let's be positive. Let's positive thinking and let's say let's calm down and look. F I mean, I would say yeah. Let's calm down, guys, and look for a way out. There must there must be a way out if there is a way in. So you're right. Okay, okay. Let's calm down and think about this. Also, we're going to meet someone very special. All right. So we need to find a way out. Is there really a way out of here? We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. That's true, but... If there's no exit, we're trapped, so let's cross our fingers and look around. What is this place? It feels different from where we were before. It looks like we're in some kind of building, but... Damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly see. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? I can't be positive, but we've got to trust our instinct a little. I know, but... Hey, is it me or is the fog lighter here? No service. What a surprise. Can you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. Huh? What the? Oof. It's a dead end. There's no exit. Keeps getting creepier and creepier the further we go. Yeah, the the blood on the walls and the this looks like a room, like a just a bedroom, uh, and the uh, the thing, you know, the what is what is it called? The uh, Jesus, I mean the the red thing, you know, to ha hang people, uh, hanging, yeah, from from the ceiling. Watching. He's pissing into the in the TV TV world. I mean that's based. Uh, I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. Like I care. Anyways, what's with this room? Check out these posters. Yeah. Their faces are all cut out. 
Someone must really hate this person. Dude, this chair and rope, that kind of yeah. arrangement is never good. It's tied in a noose. Yeah, noose. Yeah, that's the is word. This a scarf? A noose. Come on, let's go back to where we came from and look somewhere else for an exit. A red noose to kill someone, to let them hang. Yep, sick. Hey, I think I've seen that poster before. Yeah, that's the Enka singer, the wife of Namatame. So yeah. Feeling so good. Now that you mention it, me too. Hmm. All right, let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. Phew! We finally made it back here. Wait, what's that? There's something over there. Mm, yeah. <laughs> A very menacing silhouette. And it's Teddy, yes. What is this thing? A monkey? A bear? Yeah, he's a bear. Teddy has appeared, alas. <laughs> what in the world? The cruel no, I mean he's cool, I, I love Teddy. That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? The cruel and vicious bear. <laughs> no, he's he's very he's very sweet and silly and goofy. A lot more goofy and silly than Yosuke. <gasps> it talked. W what are you? You want to fight? D don't yell at me like that. Mm. <laughs> yeah. What what's this place? He lives here. This so. place is what it is. It doesn't have a name. It's where I live. You live here? If I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? What are you? Where are we? What the heck is going on here? <laughs> I already told you. Anyways, you should hurry back. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the frickin' exit... Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, he's... What the hell? He has cool powers in the TV world. Where did those TVs come from? Okay, now go, go, get out of here. I'm a busy bear. What's going on? Oh, hey! What are you doing? S stop pushing! Hmm, <laughs> okay. He helped us. Um, even if pretty aggressively, but yeah, we are out. And no one saw us. Huh? Luckily. Is this? Did we make it back? Shoppers, our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Crap, it's already that late? <sighs> Looks like we were in there for quite a while. That's right. Now I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. That's the poster we saw. What's up now? Hey, you're right. They're the same. 
I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Misuzu Hiragi. She's been all over the news lately. Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Hey, so does that mean that weird room we saw? Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Now that I think about it, there was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, stop. No more. We gotta stop talking about this. I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. I'm feeling a chill, too. Let's go home. I want to lie down and rest. Hey, very, very weird home. day. Yeah, still, still raining. We feel sluggish. Yeah, we should, as Morgana said, just go to sleep. <laughs> um, well, I doubt you'd know. But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? Yeah, she... Oh, yeah, she was at school today. Mm. Suspicious. Yeah, that's true. Well, to be honest... No, that's why, We got yeah. a call from her family. She's disappeared. Yeah, no, not looking good. I mean, uh, it's raining, and the last time it rained, someone died, so... We've got people looking for her, but she hasn't been found yet. Yeah, I don't think... I mean... They are gonna find her, but uh, I'm pretty sure she is not going uh, going to have an, a happy ending. Yeah, we are not going to see her again. <laughs> <sighs> Work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. Yep. She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? Oh yes, the Amagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. The manager's teenage daughter also works there, and it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. Uh, I see. Moving along, it's time for the weather report. The rain has begun to subside. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. Yeah, she was staying at Yukiko's inn. And now Saki, who found the body, has disappeared, so yeah, we can see a pattern. And the the culprit, you know, knew that Saki was the one found that found the body, so yeah, he or she wants to get rid of the witnesses and all the evidence, so yeah. Okay, Give where's it some more time? Where's my ramen? Uh, I'm, am I not eating tonight? <coughs> yeah, bless you, <laughs> bless you, you. <laughs> Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako, could you get him some cold medicine? You should get to bed after you take it. I mean, I should eat something as well, but. <laughs> okay, 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 we have got the Jima. Yeah, just go to bed, you know, so we don't get uh, sick. Yeah, spring colds are fucking rough. Um, so yeah, he's reading the newspaper, cool. Um, yeah, spring, uh, this, the flu, you know, the, the flu during springtime is... Is, uh, at least in my case, always the, the worst one. 
it's very it's very strong you know um, last last spring last march i got a a, a bad um throat ache like a I don't know what I don't know if it's called a you know I need basically an irritation a um of the of the throat the you know the not the larynx or whatever the the other part the the, the first part of the throat uh, the upper part and yeah I you know I couldn't even you know I could barely sleep it was hurting all the time it was you know very rough um, strong fever like. 30 39 degrees celsius fever uh, could barely eat you know barely sleep you know barely even um you know uh, gulping you know so i could, I could barely swallow uh, my my own saliva so let alone eating and, and drinking so yeah very rough so be careful when it's springtime especially if you are allergic to stuff yeah that's good just go and, and lay in bed Okay, quit show, uh, and yeah, for now we can just you know um, see what happens and go go to school and talk to our friends and uh, wait for new developments. Yeah, let's save and. Uh, perfect, and I can end the episode here. So. That's it for episode number three, yes, of this Persona 4 Golden Let's Play. So thank you a lot for watching and staying with me. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you are into the game and, uh, you know, are interested in, in playing if you have never played the Persona 4 Golden on, or any other Persona. This is, I think, the best Persona um, to start with if you want to get familiar with this amazing series. But yeah, so thank you a lot for watching, um, stay safe, and I'll see you soon in the next episode. So as always, take care and uh, goodbye.